I want to talk about function M files. In order to do that, we have to go get a M file. So click on File, No, and M file. And here we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is key in the, put in the keyword function that is required, and then my function y equals I'll call this sine cosine and I'll hand it I'll hand it one input variable x. I'm gonna now define the meat of the program. Y equals the sine of that x. I'm gonna add one dot five seven oh seven to that plus the cosine of that x. Sounds like fun. And that's my program. Now I have to save it. <clears throat> I have to save this, but I'll have to save it using the name of the function itself. So the file name and the function name will be the same. So here we go. File. Save as. Let's move this over a tet. File, save as, and uh, the name of the file by default down here is sine cosine.m. That's what I want. I click on save, and it's now been saved. Let's minimize this guy now. And I'm back to my MATLAB. I'm going to call sine cosine. I'm going to pass it the value of zero. So the sine of 0 plus 1.5707 which is what we stipulated here we're going I'm going to pass it as 0 sine is then given 0 plus 1.5707 so this evaluates to the sine of 1.5707 which will be a 1 then I'm going to add on to that the cosine of 0, which is 1. So 1 plus 1 should give me a 2. Let's see if that's what we get. And that's what we get. The only thing that I dislike is this. This is too talkative for me. So let's, let's silence that. And we effectively silence that by adding on to this a semicolon. All well and good now. Let's save this. File. Save. And now, for the sake of clarity, let's clear off our console. CLC. And now let's run our sine cosine function again. Pass it as zero. And voila, there's our two. And this is the non talkative version. It's a much less cluttered screen. Well, that's it for now. This is George Wolf, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.